Hello, thank you for tuning in to Zippo Lion's Den. In this video, which is going to be one of five parts, I'm showing you my collection I just finished of 50 years of Zippo, 1950 through 1999. If you would, please hit the like button and subscribe, and let's get on with the Zippos. This is my 1950 five barrel hinge. Kind of loose, isn't in the greatest shape. They all have time appropriate inserts, whether original or not. A.L. Bateman. This one was, I'm guessing, by Zippo, actually engraved with that name. And I'm not too worried about the shape of this 1950 because I have this 1950 right here as well, which has never been used and has the original black and gray candy stripe box that it was originally released in. So there's the 1950. My 1951 now is a steel case. Not bad shape. Most of these have been used. Time appropriate steel insert. This would have been during the first year of the Korean War, where cases were made out of steel and not brass. Here's my 1952. It is engraved with VVB. It is also a steel case. Nice time appropriate insert. And what's funny is I don't think I paid more than $50, maybe $55 for any of these 1950s laters. And now this one is my 1953. It's got a different bottom stamp now, which is only for two years, I believe, 53 and 54. Might be 55 as well. This one is also a steel case. They'll all still have the original asbestos wick. I don't ever plan on using them, so I am not worried about it. And that is Oriskany Waterbury Felts since 1969. And now this one is one of my favorites. Use my 1954 Lions Trucking Zippo. And now we're into the brass case, marking it as a 1954 with that particular bottom. This one I had sent back to Zippo to get a new hinge pin and hinge tightening done, and they did a marvelous job. That hinge is very tight, and you're able to keep the original. Um, hinge workings and stuff. Sorry, the name of it slips my mind at the moment. Another time appropriate insert. Then here's my 1955 Hamilton Industries. You can get into the better identification system with the dots and the patent pending. said this is my 1955 yeah my 1955 time appropriate insert pump cam spring and this one my father is actually retired from this company so it's kind of cool to me And then this one, my 1956, Syria Temple, which is part of a Freemasons, Willard G. Cutler Potentate, 1956. Three dots on the left, four dots on the right. Has a little loose hinge, but it's in beautiful shape. 
I actually got this lighter for four dollars. It was at a box of five different lighters for twenty dollars, so technically I got this one for four bucks. Thought that was a great deal. My nineteen fifty seven, which is the same year as my everyday carry. Clarksburg Pilots Association breakfast flight September eighth, nineteen fifty seven. Oldest pilot Zippo. Wonder who he is or was, because this thing has never been used. It's very nice looking later. Again, time appropriate insect. Which brings us up to 1958. See four dots on the left, four dots on the right, but now just one patent pending right in the middle under the word Zippo. And this one's actually in pretty good shape as well. Transitional period style insert, which is kind of cool to have something like that. And now, my 1959. Three stamps on the, three dots on the left, four on the right, patent pending in the middle. So not a bad hinge. Now the markings on the insert are on the side now, instead of straight up and down, but still only on one side. So there we go. There's my 1950s collection, the first row of my case, and the first decade of 50 years of Zippo. So hope you like what you see. And if you feel like it, please subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you very much.